My name is Kevin Enfeld, CEO of P2P Malaysia, and I'm going to take you through what makes a great project manager. And it's based on my personal experience. I'm using the PMI Talent Triangle as a reference point, which focuses on leadership, technical, business and strategic management, and GAPS, the Global Alliance for uh, Project uh, Professionals. I'm going to give you the five challenges that I experience, and I'm going to give you the five remedies as a takeaway. And what I've done is I've associated the five challenges to the music industry. And the first challenge I want to pose is the Bob Marley syndrome. Now, the Bob Marley syndrome in projects is referring to politics. And as project managers, we are having to manage many, many different angles of organizations' priorities and politics. The second syndrome is the Katy Perry syndrome. And the Katy Perry syndrome focuses on our project stakeholders. They're hot and they're cold and they're in and they're out. And their um, strategies and their appetite keeps on changing. And it just creates um, a lot of difficulties for the project manager. The third challenge is the culture club syndrome. Now, the culture club syndrome focuses on four cultures that we are having to deal with as project managers. And the first being the country culture that you're operating within. We then have the organization's culture. We then have the project's culture. And then we have the cliques that are formed. And those cliques have their own culture. And we start seeing a massive incongruency between the organization's culture and that what is taking place in the project. And specifically when we have uh, multiple uh, contract interfaces or interdepartmental interfaces working together um, on the project. The fourth syndrome is the M&M syndrome. Now the M&M syndrome is the amount of jargon and big data that we are having to deal with as project managers. Uh, we are attending meetings and people are throwing acronyms around. The technical people are talking acronyms, they're talking in acronyms. And we, we have to go back and we have to go back and try and understand the context um, of what has been discussed um, in these meetings. The fifth syndrome is the Nina syndrome. Now that's the 99 red balloons. Uh, a lot of times our project team members see the project managers uh, blowing up a lot of hot air. And project team members see straight through project managers today. And that's with reference to capability, competency, domain expertise, and uh, interpersonal uh, traits and skills. And if the project manager is not a competent, well-trained, high EQ type individual, um, the project manager will be challenged and uh, face a number of issues. So what is the remedy for these five challenges? And I'm going to take you through each of the challenges, and then we're going to talk about the remedies associated. Now, firstly, the politics. As a project manager, be very careful not to play organization politics. You have to understand the politics, don't play the politics. My experience, uh, be wary of your project team members, being clients, being uh, contractors, being uh, cross-divisional in the organization, is team members building very close relationships with uh, client team members, as an example. And it becomes extremely difficult for the project manager to deal uh, with the uh, politics and the relationships that are built. Uh, at a point in time, you actually don't know who to trust. So don't play politics. Now, how do we not allow our project team members not to get involved with the politics? Well, there's one thing that every project has as a base and every project manager has as a base 
and that is the organization strategy, the organization strategic intent. So what I do is, when I start engaging on a project, the first thing that I do is I create a project rudder board. I've based it on the Clem Sunter's uh, Games Foxes play, the uh, strategic uh, game board, and it is aligning the strategy to the project and aligning the project team members to the organization strategies. And if you're working with multiple contractors, ensure that all the organization's strategic intentions are understood by all the parties. The rudder board will give us the conclusion and the direction in terms of what drives the success on our project, in terms of the mandatory um, obligations of the team, the, the, the unequivocal rules that we apply to our project. Um, and the other zone on our game board is, is understanding and realizing what will call it, cause us to fail and what will cause us uh, to maintain the status quo or that side of the quadrant where we, we are innovating ourselves out of project success. And we have to focus on a quadrant on the game board with the correct tactics that are agreed to and signed off by the project team and any other stakeholder that partakes in the project. People, and that is always the interesting aspect. What I've done on a recent project is I conducted a colored brain um, analysis and assessment on all of my team members. And this gives us a, a very good gauging in terms of who we're dealing with um, from a people perspective. How are each of our team members thinking? Where are they coming from? And how do we best match the resources that we have? Um, I will be discussing the colored brain assessment um, in my next talk. The second last um, remedy is technology. Now, as a project manager, you need to be techno savvy. You need to understand databases. You don't have to be a programmer. But you have to understand where data is coming from. You need to understand what SQL is. You need to understand what a, a relational database is. Because we're working with the big data and we will be we're sitting in meetings. And I've sat in meetings where I don't understand what people are talking about. And all the performance reporting is coming from the big data sources. So you have to understand the data structures and how databases work because that's where your performance reporting is coming from. And last but not least is your qualifications and certifications. Now, firstly, your domain expertise is extremely important. If you're managing a mining project, you must have mining experience. If you're managing an IT project, you must have uh, industry um, understanding and you must understand or be certified in agile project management. You need to be certified in earned value management. It's, 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 it's the way of conducting project controls from a performance reporting perspective. You must have a project management qualification, be that project management professional, uh, Prince2 certified, or a combination of. Lastly, from a technology perspective, make sure that you understand and are well trained and well versed in scheduling. Because the project's heartbeat lies in the project schedule. And if the project schedule is broken, if the project schedule's integrity is at question, you will be in trouble. So go on a Primavera P6, Microsoft Project 2013, um, open plan uh, course, whatever software you are using from a scheduling perspective. Make sure that you understand how that scheduling tool works because that is the heartbeat of your project. My next talk will be on Colored Brain, We're focusing on the people side. Those of you that are in Kuala Lumpur, please come to uh, Monkiara um, Shopping Center 163. Um, don't yell at me, makes absolutely great, great coffee, and I'll see you on the next turn.